Semi adjustable articulators. The semi adjustable articulator is a mechanical instrument used to simulate static and dynamic maxillomandibular relations of the patient in the laboratory, which is not possible to do with the non adjustable simple hinge articulators. The semi adjustable articulator is fundamental when diagnosing occlusal interferences, planning and making devices to be used by the patient, such as complete dentures fixed partial dentures, removable partial dentures, occlusal splints, surgical guides, so on. Face bows. The face bow is a device used to determine and transfer to the articulator the spatial position of the patient's maxilla in relation to the skull base and the condylar rotation axis. BioArt Articulators and Face Bows. World leader in the manufacturing of semi-adjustable articulators, BioArt provides the best cost-effective solution in the market. Always aware of user needs, the models are developed based on the expertise of opinion maker professionals. BioArt Articulator Features. BioArt articulators have resistant structural mechanisms ensuring higher stability for opening, protrusion, and laterality movement in a free and precise manner. Its design provides great visibility and ergonomics. The rail mounting plates allow the cast to be removed without breaking the plaster. And its magnetic fixation provides a rapid exchange of clinical case studies. Condylar guides are curved for an accurate reproduction of the human anatomy. The main BioArt articular models are semi adjustable Archon type. A7 Plus Articulator. The A7 Plus Articulator has a single and fixed intercondylar distance in 110 millimeters, is provided with a central lock for alignment of the frames allows 180 degrees opening with support pin for open position. Allows adjustment of the condylar guides and Bennett angles. Its movement stabilizer system has a silicon connection. A7 Fix Articulator. The A7 Fix model has fixed intercondylar distance at 110 millimeters, opening of the frames at 180 degrees, support pin for opening position, and lock pins for alignment of the frames. The condylar guide's angles are fixed at 30 degrees and the Bennett angle at 15. Its movement stabilizer system is magnetic. The 4000S Articulator. The 4000S Articulator allows the adjustment of the intercondylar distance, small, medium, large, through an expander spindle. Its movement stabilizer system has side O-rings, and its condylar guide angles and Bennett angles are adjustable. BioArt Face Bows Features BioArt Face Bows are anatomic type with manual tightening screws, eliminating the need for screwdrivers. Standard Face Bow The registration transfer with the standard model is made by fixing the entire face bow in the articulator. Elite Face Bow. The Elite Face Bow is equipped with articulation and fixation system of the fork, enabling a faster registration for the professional and more comfortable for the patient. 
The transfer set eliminates the need for face bow in the mounting process of the casts in the articulator, turning the process more practical and stable. Its Nasian relator, with the adjustable height combined with the infraorbital indicator, makes the registration process even more accurate. The face bow is equipped with a smooth sliding system, making the opening and closing easier. The earpieces are anatomic, removable, and autoclavable at 121 degrees Celsius. General Operations Registration with the face bow. By using registration material, determine three points on the fork for dental patient, two in the posterior area in each of the semi-arches of the fork and one in the anterior area. Align the fork handle with the facial midline of the patient and place it on the upper teeth, holding it until the material hardens. Try the plaster cast on the registration to confirm its stability. Loosen the screws of the face bow and place the Nasian relator into the crossbar. Place the fork with the registration back into the patient and ask him to keep it in the same position, supporting your thumbs towards the maxilla. Place the face bow, inserting the fixation set in the bite fork rod and adjust the ear pieces in the patient's external auditory canal. Support the Nasian relator on the patient's glabella and tighten its screw, followed by three set screws of the standard face bow. Once the Nasian relator and the face bow are positioned, tighten the wing screws of the fork. For 4000S articulator mounting, observe the measure of the intercondylar distance 1, 2, or 3, which correspond to the small, medium, and large intercondylar distances. For other models of articulator, the intercondylar distance is fixed in the average. To remove the face bow, loosen the screw of the Nasian relator and central screw of the face bow. Remove the entire set carefully. Preparation of the A7 Plus articulator. Adjust the angle of the condylar guides at 30 degrees and the Bennett at 15. Push the locks back so that the frames are aligned. Preparation of the A7 Fix Articulator. Push the locks into clamp and align the articulator's frames. In this model, the condylar guides are fixed at 30 degrees and bent it at 15. Preparation of the 4000S Articulator. This model allows intercondylar distance adjustment. To place the articulator in the distance obtained with face bow, fit the condylar elements in the respective positions 1, 2, or 3. Slightly loosen the screws of the condylar guide and adjust the distance through the micrometric expander spindle so that there is not side movement between the upper and lower frames. Place the condylar guides at 30 degrees and the Bennett at zero. Mounting of the upper cast. Before starting the mounting, remove the Nasian relator from the face bow. Place the upper cast in the fork and fasten it so there is no clearance. The registration transfer is made by positioning the holes of the earpieces of the face bow in the fixation pins of the articulator. Close the face bow firmly and tighten its central screw. For more stability and precision, use the fork support, optional, and four type plaster. Lift the upper frame of the articulator and add a suitable portion of plaster on the mounting plate, filling up the retentive area of your plate and another portion of plaster on the base of the cast. Close the articulator until the upper frame gets in contact with the crossbar of the face bow and wait until the plaster hardens. After curing the plaster, remove the face bow and prepare the articulator for the lower cast mounting. 
put the incisal pin in its rounded tip facing down and place it at the zero mark so that the upper and lower frames are parallel to each other. To mount the lower cast, it is required to relate it with the mounted upper cast according to what it is intended to obtain in the mounting process, regular maximum intercuspation or centric relation. With the articulator inverted on the table, add a portion of plaster on the base of the previously hydrated lower cast and another portion on the mounting plate. Close the articulator until the incisal pin gets in contact with the incisal table. Fix the articulator's frames with a rubber band in order to avoid possible distortions caused by the plaster expansion. Accessories Fork Support Through its vertical adjustment, the fork support is used during the mounting of the upper cast with the face bow, allowing more stability and avoiding unpleasant distortions. Fox Ruler the Fox ruler is used when adjusting the upper wax roller in the total prostheses to determine the occlusal plane with reference to the camper or Frankfurt plane and in the patient's interpupillary line. Broderick flag. It is used in cases of oral rehabilitation for analysis and determination of the posterior occlusal plane. Toothless Fork It is an accessory to be used with the standard face bow. It has two adjustable frames for wax roller adaptation enabling a better fixation during the registration and its transfer to the articulator. Adjustable incisal table. It is used in teeth balancing process, allowing personalization of the anterior guide through its adjustable side walls and the anteroposterior plane. Rail Mounting Plate The rail mounting plate was developed to enable the removal of the plaster cast without breaking it. Before removing the cast, remove the plaster in the plate retention hole. Magnetic Mounting Plate The magnetic mounting plate allows a rapid exchange of plaster casts in the articulator providing convenience and a higher agility when working with several cases simultaneously. By using this accessory, there's no need for breaking the plaster casts. Metallic Mounting Plate Most traditional model between the mounting plates, the metallic plate has screw fixation system. Camper's Table the camper's table is a support used for mounting the upper cast in the average of 15 degrees. It has a median, side and interior reference lines for alignment of the cast. Standardization With the standardization, the dentist is no longer required to send the articulator to the laboratory, just the pre-mounted casts. Using a calibration and gauging kit, the standardization is made by fixing a compensating disc in the lower frame of the articulators so that the three-dimensional differences which might exist between them are eliminated, thus allowing the exchange of casts. 
the standardization system turns the mounting process easier. That is, the dentist and the dental technician will not have to change their professional habits when working the articulator.